On today's video, we check out Hannibal, Missouri. This guy was worshipped in India? Yeah, it was worshipped as a god as well. How much for that beauty? 25,000. Hi, tour people. I want to be big. I've loved this river before I even saw it. So let's check out Hannibal, Missouri and the mighty Mississippi together. Missouri. We just bought our tickets for a riverboat hour cruise in a couple hours. An hour cruise should be fun. A mighty Mississippi. This is the most north I've been on the Mississippi. I love this river. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I've never been on a real boat. We've done this at Disneyland and Disney World. Yes. Not quite the same. No. One of those boats was actually called the Mark Twain. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mississippi River. It's gonna be fun. So after we bought tickets for the tour, we had a few hours. My daughter's birthday had just come, so my mom and her mom took her shopping while I cruised around Hannibal Mo. Check it out. So I drove around Main Street and then I went up the hill to see the view of the mighty Mississippi from here. There are some massive mansions up on the hill overlooking the river. This one is being restored, but it is gorgeous. All right, I'm in downtown Hannibal, Missouri. Just showed you some of the old area. There was a big, beautiful mansion. They're restoring up on the hill overlooking the Mississippi. That whole area is beautiful home after beautiful home that has clearly been neglected, needs to rehab. I think every third home was being rehabbed and the other ones were just looked abandoned, but beautiful. Looks like we're downtown right here. I only got about 45 minutes until my steamboat tour starts. So we're gonna see what we can see. We're gonna start with this beautiful little garden right in downtown Hannibal. Monday afternoon, nobody here. They do have a cupcake vending machine though. Tom, Tom, we're lost, we're lost. We never can get out of this awful place. Becky Thatcher. Ghost Tours, or Zoltar. I wanna be big. I wish I were big. Oh, never mind, I already am. And speaking of tours. Hi, tour people.
Mark Twain Museum shop, I believe. Get a bicycle, you will not regret it if you live Mark Twain. Again, this place is kind of empty. It's about 2.45 on a Monday. Right is right and wrong is wrong and a body ain't got no business where when he ain't ignorant and knows better. Fuck Finn. I just popped in the Alliance Art Gallery. What a sweet, sweet lady runs the place. My wife and my daughter and my mom are here. But Chocolatier Stam? Hmm. Apparently this beautiful building right here on Main Street is a bed and breakfast. Pretty cool. A cauliflower is nothing more than a cabbage with a college education. Mark Twain. Java Jive, the first coffee shop west of the Mississippi. I guess we'll just have to trust them. Suppose you were an idiot and suppose you were a member of Congress, but I repeat myself, Mark Twain. Tell me again, if you don't mind, about this painting. It's an 18th century French court lady in a Newcomb Macklin frame that's hand carved wood. It's spectacular. Newcomb Macklin and company, the frame maker, was the world's greatest frame maker when they were in business. Do you mind being on? Sure. And and you said this this painting next to it is the oldest known painting of the Hannibal River front. Unbelievable. Lover's Leap and Holiday Hill. Both wrote the Holiday Hill is, was in Mark Twain's books quite a bit. And that paddle boat is the Rob Roy. The famous paddle boat that was Are talking. you serious? Mm -hmm. Um I'm guessing it's out of my price range, but how much for that beauty? Twenty five thousand. It's just here on Main Street in Hannibal, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And this beautiful thing behind you. It's old 1850 St. Louis portrait. Gorgeous. The secret treasure box. These two Chinese guys are puzzle boxes? Yeah. They're, there's a way you can manipulate them and open up a secret treasure box. I bought them from a museum. They used to belong to the Koch brothers' mother, Mary Koch. Oh, Coke. yeah. She donated them to the museum in 1915. And there's only four of those in America. Two of them are there, and the other two are in the museum. And they're sacred as well. They were made for religious settings. And you said earlier, but I'll do it for the camera now, this guy was worshipped in India? Yeah, it was worshipped as a god as well. It's a silicated black sandstone with silver eyes. He was an attendant god. And the piece to the right is that's Carrera marble. Oh my goodness! Solid Carrera marble. Somebody spent a lot of time carving that out of a block of stone. shop owners Gordon I just talked to him I was just at the st. Louis Museum of Art and there's some art in there that belongs in there amazing if you're on this road in Hannibal Missouri come to this shop
Sometimes you begin to get hurt and sometimes you begin to get sick, but every time he begins to get well again. Jim. And just like that, fire trucks. Apparently there's a gas leak. There you go, Hannibal Mo, downtown. Wow, well worth the walk around, fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Anyway, time to get on this boat. Okay, it's really loud. If it does that the whole time, I might. It might be a murder mystery cruise. Good, it turns off. So we've got our own little private area, a little viewing area overlooking the Mississippi. This is going to be awesome. Yes. And even the air conditioner's right there. I know. We lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> There used to be a lady who lived atop this hill by the name of Holiday. Her husband was a steamboat pilot, so she kept a light burning in the window at night to the steamboats as they fly the river. Her husband was killed in a steamboat accident. The Mark Twain wrote the adventures of Tom Sawyer and the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. He referred to her as the Widow Douglas. Now directly to our left... It's about 56 degrees and if you 
this has been amazing. We had the whole front to ourselves, bottom level, bottom level fully empty, except for a cast member, worker, who's been in and out. When we went up to the second deck, we had our own private area. Must be 30 people on the entire boat at the most, and you know, I can't see any of them. This has been really, really neat. became Huck Bear. Laura Hawkins became Becky Thatcher. And the island to our right became Jackson's Island. We're sure this is Jackson's Island. If you were to put a couple of young people on a raft of a render landing, you sent them paddling for Illinois. The current is going to set them down to just about the middle of this island. Much in the same way that Sam Clemens and his friends came out here. Nobody lives on these islands. They flood most every spring. They're all owned by the federal government, and you're welcome to come out and camp and fish off of them if you can find a way out here. There is an abundance of wildlife, both Saturday night and aquatic. <laughs> now we have muskrat, otter, beaver, turtles, lizards, and snakes. The Ottoman Society tells us there's several different variety of birds. We see a lot of ducks, geese, Great blue heron, turkey vulture, seagulls, white pelican, and occasionally a bald eagle. And at last count on Jackson's Island alone, there were well over three billion mosquitoes. <laughs> We've now come to that point in the trip where I'm supposed to be quiet. I'm going to let you all just kind of sit back and relax. We'll listen to the breeze through the trees. And then when we're past that shallow spot, I'll get you in close to the island, and you might just see a few of the critters that live out here. Uh, we've been seeing snapping turtles hanging out here on the logs next to the island's edge. And uh, we saw one the other day that was large enough to feed a family of four for two days. I've always wanted to do this my whole life. I've wanted to do a river excursion on the Mississippi. We were out front where the wind is. That's why our hair looks like this. Got a little hot and sweaty. Really nice air conditioning in here though. I love this. I feel like of the four of us, I loved it more than anyone else. But have you had fun? We loved it, yeah. It's it pretty amazing. The quirky stories he was telling and the he history of everything and learning about the barges was awesome. You were saying earlier how like we're a Disney family. If you're new to the channel, you don't know, welcome to the channel. If you know, you know we love Disney and going to Disney in Anaheim and then later in Orlando, we talk about the Mark Twain. We talk about oh, the Mississippi totally. River. 
I've loved this river before I even saw it. And then every time I get to go over it or near, well, beyond it, I love it. This has been awesome. Yeah, for so, sure. On a scale of 1 to 10 for me, it's a 3,000. I don't know about the rest of the group, but I've loved it. I highly recommend it. Thank you, let me go. Anyway, we're on the Mark Twain. It's called the Mark Twain. How cool is that? And a couple. And that's the island. Well, a couple islands back about. now, but yeah, pretty cool. So. You were on that island. I just love it. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. Bye for now.